Hello friends, welcome to my channel Rinko Handcrafts. Today we are going to see how to make a tablecloth with ripple pattern. And as you can see here, I am going to use these many yarns for that ripple pattern for my tablecloth. And this is very fun and interesting project as I am going to use so many yarns here. And the pattern we will see at the end is going to be so so beautiful. So I hope you enjoy my video. So let's start. Now first we will make slip stitch to our hook. So for slip stitch hold your yarn like this, insert your finger, twist the yarn, pull this end from the ball and insert your hook like this and now make it tight. And now here we are going to make some number of chains. These number of chains depends on the size of your table mat. So if you want long table mat then you can increase your number of chains here. And this chains will be in multiples of 12. So for my table mat, I'm going to make total 72 chains here. And keep these chains just the perfect. Don't make it too tight or too loose. Now here I have made my 72 chains. And now we will start our row 1. So for row 1 we will make 3 more chains here, 1, 2 and 3 and now we are going to make 1 double crochet stitch in this 4th loop here from this chain, from this hook. So this loop we are not going to count this, so we are going to skip this first 3 loops, 1, 2 and 3 and in this 4th one we will make 1 double crochet stitch. So for double crochet yarn over, insert your hook in this loop, pull the yarn, you have 3 loops on the hook, pull the yarn from first 2 loops and then pull the yarn from next 2 loops. And now here you can see this chain pattern that we did, this we are going to consider as 1 double crochet stitch and this will be the second one. So in this 1 loop we have made total 2 double crochet stitches here like this and now here in next three loops one two and three we are going to make one double crochet stitch each so yarn over insert your hook in the loop pull the yarn you have three loops on the hook pull the yarn from first two loops then pull the yarn from next two loops this is my first double crochet stitch then again one double crochet stitch in the next loop and then one double crochet stitch in the next loop and now we are going to work on the decrease of our pattern so i'll just show you so here you can see here we have started now and now we will work on this part the decrease part of our pattern so for that yarn over insert your hook in this next loop pull the yarn you have three loops on the hook now pull the yarn from first two loops only like this then again yarn over insert your hook in this next loop pull the yarn you have total four loops on the hook now pull the yarn from first two loops only and now you have three loops so when you have three loops left on this hook on the top then you can pull your yarn through all three loops at once like this so here what we have done is we have made one stitch out of this two loops here so we are decreasing the number of stitches here with this kind of stitch like this now again we will repeat the same stitch here so yarn over insert your hook in this loop pull the yarn pull the yarn from first two loops then again yarn over insert your hook in the next loop pull the yarn pull the yarn from first two loops now you have three loops on the hook so pull the yarn from all three loops at once so here you can see we decrease this two loops into one stitch here like this 
now again in next three loops we will make one double crochet stitch each like we did before and now we are going to work on the increase of our pattern like this so for that here in this next loop we are going to make two double crochet stitches in the same loop it's very simple so this is my first single crochet stitch and in the same loop here i'm going to make my second double crochet stitch like this now again in this next loop we are going to repeat the same pattern so two double crochet stitches in the same loop so this is my first one and this is the second one in the same loop like this now again we are going to repeat one double crochet stitch each in next three loops so after every increase and decrease stitches we are going to repeat this three double crochet stitches every time and now again we are going to follow the same pattern of decrease and increase throughout this row so here we made first three double crochet stitches here and then the decrease pattern then again three double crochet stitches then increase pattern again three double crochet stitches and then decrease pattern so i'll show you one more time yarn over insert your hook pull the yarn from first two loops then again yarn over insert your hook pull the yarn from first two loops then pull the yarn from all three loops at once so this is my first one now again i'll repeat the same then again three double crochet stitches in next three loops and then again the increase pattern so two double crochet stitches in same loop twice and now again we will repeat three double crochet stitches in next three loops so like this i'll follow the same pattern and i'll complete my row and once i'm done with my row one then i'll meet you back here at the end and now here i'm done my three double crochet stitches in these three loops and i'm left with this one loop here one last loop so in last loop or in this corner loops this one and this side loops you will always make two stitches so just remember that for each row in this project so in this last loop i'll make two double crochet stitches here so this is my first one and this will be the second one now instead of pulling this yarn i'm going to change my yarn here I'm going to take this different color yarn because this ripple pattern looks really beautiful and prominent with so many colors of yarn if you use in your project so instead of pulling this yarn I'll make last pull with this new yarn here now I'll just pull all these ends here to make it tight now for row 2 i'll make three chains here one two and three now here i have cut my old yarn and i have secured these loose ends for now once your project is completed then you can weave these loose ends inside your project so here after three chains we are going to turn our work for row 2 so now we will start our row 2 so this chain pattern this will be considered as one stitch here 
and in this same stitch we are going to make one more double crochet stitch so two double crochet stitches in the same loop on both sides like I said before so here you can see we have two double crochet stitches now one double crochet stitch each in next three loops so basically we are going to follow the same pattern as a row one for all the rows the increase decrease and these normal double crochet stitches it will be exactly the same like previous row like this now here you can see here we have the decrease pattern so we will make now the decrease of our stitches so like this pull the yarn from first two loops again yarn over insert your hook pull the yarn from first two loops now you have three loops on the top so pull the yarn from all three loops at once again repeat the same now again one double crochet stitch each in next three loops and then here you can see here we have increase so we will make increase pattern here that is two double crochet stitches in the same loop twice and now again one double crochet stitch each in next three loops so like this I will follow the pattern of increase and decrease throughout my project and uh, of course I am going to change my yarns for every row or for every two or three rows so depending on what type of pattern you want or what type of combinations you want you can choose your yarn color so like this I'll continue and I'll make my whole project and once I'm done with that then I'll meet you back at the end and now here I'm about to finish my project and I'm here at my last stitch so I'll make two double crochet stitches here in this last loop and now chain one to secure it and now you can cut your yarn I have already cut it now just pull this end and tie one knot here and now I'll secure this loose end and then I'll show you how this table mat looks and now here you can see my table mat is ready and it is looking really vibrant and beautiful and this is really a fun project to do because you get to play with so many different yarns here in a single project and if you have a little bit of yarn left from some other projects then you can use that in this in this project here you can see how many yarns I have used so I hope you like my video if you like my video then please give big thumbs up write down your questions comments or any feedback in the comment section and please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching the video see you soon in the next one